Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see the, the final law of final DB's incoming isolator that means the incoming main isolator rating and then and the remark columns. The how can we read the remark column and how to we select the final DB's incoming isolator the based on load. So this uh, full DB selection and how to read selection we mostly we complete of this video because of we are already seen for the MCB rating selection and ELCB rating selection and then how to we can read this uh, load schedule this other thing we already seen here so but before that we are going to see here the isolator rating selection so see the first one is the isolator how to they are selecting for the 63 ampere the isolator uh, for the this db so here uh, first of all we need to consider the load power so here the load power is 18.8 kilowatt the load power has been mentioned here 18.8 kilowatt on here so this is the thing we need to consider here because of we need to select for the load current that means the full load current how much is the load current has be this, this this db so the based on this load current to be select for the isolator for example like giving some calculation on here so see here uh, the voltage has been 440 and then power factor here i take for 0 0.5 so this is the lowest power factor that's why i take in 0 0.5 that the lowest power factor means these are lagging and then power has been three phase power so root three we are cos pi and v has been voltage i has been current and cos pi is a power factor see here the power has been already we know know here 18.8 kilowatt so see here the 18.8 kilowatt here and then root 3 440 into i and 0 0.5 so as per the mathematical calculation the high has been came here and then this calculation that we got for 49.33 ampere so we don't have uh, the rating of the 40 ampere isolator mostly we have a MC isolator rating for 32 ampere and then 40 ampere and 63 ampere and 80 ampere and then 100 125 160 and 200 250 300 so this kind of this kind of isolator rating has been available in market so that's why we cannot choose for the 50 ampere isolator so we choose for the 63 ampere main isolator this is a way of we can easily select for the 63 ampere isolator based on the load power so another one thing so another one db also available to here 40 ampere isolator but the load load power has been 16.15 as per the same calculation on here the 440 voltage and 0.5 power factor and the v root 3 vl cost by the same calculation we got with the 42.38 ampere on here so we had select for the ampere at has been 40 ampere this is a way of we can easily select for the isolator rating based on the uh, load power so after that we need to consider the, this thing the remote column the how can we read the remote column and have, what are the thing has been mentioned on remote column so mostly the remote column has been in the mentioned for the customer that means the uh, place of customer has been need some special things so that's all, that's all the why we need to select on here so see here here three phase uv relay and then timer and conductor has been need here so see here the 20 ampere so we need to provide for the 20 ampere conductor and 20 ampere conductor and then we need to provide for the uvr relay that means the uvr relay has been switched on after the five minutes of the power available so this is the thing we need to consider here so after that the what are the things available that means the ring circuit means that if you in here we use for 32 ampere here mostly mentioned for the ring circuit ring circuit means we need to provide for the ring uh, some extra neutral links that means the neutral points so that's the thing we need to consider here the some cases the what are the things special thing has been mentioned here the some cases the thing the isolator has been need for here transferring pump so some cases here mentioned for the staircase timer staircase timer so staircase timer has been need for the staircase if you use for the staircase breaker on here so we need to provide for staircase timer they are mentioned here some cases they are providing for the 24 hours timer for the sign board that means the name board has been the outside of the shop those are the things we need to provide for the 24 hour timer that the timing based the sign board has been automatically switch on switch off so those are the things we need to consider the final db calculation that means the final db construction and those other things if you have any doubt please comment here thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel